Oh, hey, Alan. Oh, Chief, welcome back. Did you rest well? Yep, I'm fine now. I was running around the town for ages trying to find a way onto the roof. Instead, I just got confused by some very crazy people. But I'm fine now. Let's get working on the maintenance on Cosmos, shall we? Sure. Meanwhile, on Pleroma... Current output is 5.806 LPP. Not even 3% of the required levels. In other words, you're saying it's impossible to open the door to Lost Jerusalem. Open the door? It's doubtful whether we can even find it. I've told you repeatedly that the emulators were mere supplements. You're the one who ignored that. Because of you, we've lost a valuable asset. I've done what I can with what we have, but it's not going to make much difference. Even Mizrahi couldn't pull this off without the original. So, have you finally come to acknowledge that lunatic's work? I'm just being objective. No one in the universe is as knowledgeable in this field as he was. We can't keep our commander waiting any longer. We'll proceed with Plan 401. Plan 401, huh? That seems a bit extreme to me. The 100 series that Helmer's protege is babysitting, not only does it contain the entire record of Mizrahi's research, but the access code for the UMN transfer column to the sealed area of Old Milsha also resides in it. Treat it too roughly, and you'll lose everything. I'm well aware of the importance of Milsha and the Y data. That's why I'm using him. I do not like him. His eyes share the same look as Mizrahi's. The same as yours. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting for the good news. That doesn't sound good for us. Pelagri, secure a channel to our commander. I want to report this and discuss our plans for manipulating the committee. I see. So what do you want me to do? Uh, finally these guys are getting involved. Don't interfere with it for now. Of course. I can't imagine the second Milshan government and the Kukai Foundation will simply hand it over. If this situation warrants, we may have to use the Song of Nethalim. Now this is a what? surprise. I thought you hated it with a passion. I'm just saying even your toys have their uses. Then why don't you join me? We can enjoy the show together. Thanks, I'll pass. I don't share your perverse taste in hobbies. <laughs> yeah, right, you gutless bastard. Albedo. A URTV. Uh, what now? A monster born of life recycling. Oh. There are plenty of mentally unstable life recycling variants out there. Just as Cherenkov was one of them. If he starts getting impatient and moves on his own... You needn't worry about that. Time means nothing to him. The only thing that interests him is that realia. Are you really? Going to use the song of Nephilim? Another angel reference for that. I wonder if it's got I wonder if it's related to chaos somehow. Have you ever heard it? That song draws everything unto madness. Well that's a little scary. I think things are about to go down. Where are we now? Ah, back to back to the Elsa. Maintenance time. <laughs> Thrilling. Milsha. I never thought I'd come back under these situations. Chief, is something wrong? Huh? Uh. Oh no, it's uh, nothing. How's that, Cosmos? 
fine. There are no problems. Please continue. And once again, it's nothing. Which always means it's not nothing. We will soon be entering the Milshan star system. We will be entering orbit at 1400 hours local time. Second Milsha spaceport flight control, transmitting flight plan, requesting permission to dock. Hey, Momo. Yes? What is it? We'll be going our separate ways once we get to second Milsha, right? Yes. I don't know if Reallians believe in carrying charms or not, but... Here, take this. It's for luck. It's so pretty. What is it? It's a bullet from a long time ago. Look. It's got a good luck phrase on it. Sayonara, baby! <laughs> sure, why not? Thank you. I'll keep it safe. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Huh? Ah, there we go. <laughs> you really need to use magic for that. <laughs> Also a bullet necklace? Hell? What is this, cyberpunk? Like that too? That's wonderful. It kind of tires me out a bit though. Maybe she maybe just use a like a glue gun next time or something. <laughs> what a strange welcome. Are they escorting us in this time? I don't think so. They're blocking the way? <sighs> this is no welcome. <laughs> Well, that's not good. Federation Parliament Building. As you can see from this video, the Kukai Foundation has engaged in what is clearly an act of aggression ah. against the 117th Marine Division. We're being set up. From the events that followed, we can only come to the conclusion that this was an act of rebellion orchestrated by the Foundation's creators, the Second Milshan Government. In light of these troubling events, we hereby enter a motion for the following. Per Article 104, an emergency suspension of the vested rights of Second Milsha's autonomous government. I'd like to add that the 422nd Fleet from Gedalia has been dispatched to the scene in order to surround and contain both the Kukai Foundation and Second Milsha. Hold on there. Won't that constitute an unauthorized use of force? The deployment is in accordance with the Federation Emergency Powers Act. It is fully within our powers. I would think that the Kukai Foundation possessing that level of weaponry is a far greater problem in and of itself. Perhaps they were heroes during the conflict, or whatever in the past. But the current situation is a result of letting them have their way for so long. The Zohar belonged to the entire Federation. Why should Second Milsha have sole control? The decision to turn the artifacts of Old Milsha over to an impartial third party was decided by vote 14 years ago. We're talking about the dangers of it being monopolized by a corporation. The Kukai Foundation was converted after the completion of the post-war cleanup and their own disarmament. Since taking on their current name and converting to a business, their primary source of income has become entertainment and tourism. How could they possibly have a vested interest in the Zohar? You call that disarmed? It's just enough for self-defense. Think back to the reason the organization was formed. Not only that, we can't ignore their recent achievements against the Gnosis. Can we be certain these accusations aren't merely jealousy on the part of a state that didn't receive post-war government handouts? How dare you! I've heard rumors that Milsha was secretly involved not only with the current planetary disappearance case, 
but also with other recent developments, including the Anti-Gnosis Sohar project. I'd like to hear the contact subcommittee's thoughts on all this. Dr. Mizrahi? We moved the 100 series Realian to second Milsha in accordance with the original plan. We're following the protocols. But I wonder, have you forgotten that it was Milsha that produced the lunatic that summoned the Gnosis and tried to destroy the Federation? I sympathize with your desire to defend your late husband, but perhaps you are too deeply involved in this situation. I would not have expected my presence here to be misconstrued in such a manner. Oh, really? That this is just nothing a to do with policy. You must the Federation order. if you continue. Jealousy my on the part of the state that's all Order! Order! We've just patched in with Representative Helmer. I'd like to hear about the situation from the second Milshan government. Well, Representative Helmer? In accordance with Federation law, we hereby place the Kokai Foundation under arrest for the suspicion of violating Article 798, Chapter 37, Collection and Concealment of Defense Information, and Article 2153, Chapter 105, Acts of Aggression Against Federation Vessels, and hereby revoke all rights previously granted. Shut down your engines and relinquish your weapons immediately. Acts of Aggression Against Federation Vessels? Furthermore, should the Milshan government allow the Kukai Foundation to dock the Durandal, we will issue a state of emergency notice under Article 2384, Chapter 115, Part 18, Conspiracy what in the world to is Aid going Insurrection. On? It looks like they think the Durandal conspired with the Milshan government in an attack on the Federation fleet. Huh? What Federation fleet? Hey, check out the network news on the sub-monitor! You're not gonna believe this! On the morning of the 21st, it appears that the 177th Marine Division flagship Oglinde of the Galaxy Federation's Tessadora Division came under attack by a heavily armed ship belonging to the Kukai Foundation. The Oglinde? What? I thought the Gnosis attack had been reported already. The company has been identified as operating in conjunction with the second Milshan government. Considerations for the possibility of treason have forced the Federation Parliament to dispatch. They did a good job doctoring that video, but how did they synchronize the battle coordinates as well? Damn! That's from when we fought the UTIC organization. Those bastards were recording it. I see. That would explain how the absolute coordinates match. I guess that's their indisputable proof. Even I'm starting to think that we did it. Considering the situation, you don't sound very worried. In any event, this is confirmation that the remnants of the UTIC organization have infiltrated both the Federation government and the military. Which means, their next target is... This is such a blatant lie, it's ludicrous. As survivors, if we testify, They'll just claim that you survived because you were in on the conspiracy. This is insane! Do you think this is why Headquarters hasn't communicated with us? Captain Lapis Roman of the Galaxy Federation Special Ops Command Headquarters, Intelligence Bureau. I hereby place this ship under custody of the Galaxy Federation. I understand you're from the Woglinde. I'll take you in as witnesses. All vector property will be temporarily confiscated as evidence. Cosmos. Here's the 100 series Realian under warrant. Hey, don't hurt her! Ugh. Detain them in a single room and 
Watch them carefully. All of them? Splitting them up will only serve to underman our guard posts. Oh, that's convenient. Investigate as much of the ship as possible before we rendezvous with the others. Yes, ma'am. Gainan Kukai, you are hereby under arrest for suspicion of treason against the Galaxy Federation. Come with me. As you wish. It's all orchestrated too well. Huh? The fleet deployment came too quickly. They must have been prepared to ensure that Momo would return to them, regardless of what happened. Or perhaps ensnaring second Milsha was part of their plan from the very beginning. As a neutral territory, second Milsha was invested with a whole bunch of rights and legal privileges after the Milshan conflict. There are a whole lot of folks who still have problems with that. Even outside of the UTIC organization. The asteroid where Momo was imprisoned. I wondered where the information about that place came from. Now it seems like it was all part of the plan from the very beginning. Do you mean from when Mommy sent you to rescue me? You don't think there are UTIC members within the subcommittee itself? It's not inconceivable. Perhaps it was the very person who arranged for Momo's rescue, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi herself. No! Mommy would never do something like that! Alan! I... Uh, sorry. Open it. Helva? Sorry to keep you waiting, Guinan. I'm in a somewhat difficult position myself at the moment, but I'm doing what I can with the Federation Parliament. Now the woman beside you is Captain Lapis Roman. Several years ago, I sent her to infiltrate the military in order to keep tabs on the UTIC members within it. She is one of my most trusted subordinates. Always prepared, aren't you? Caution is something that comes naturally with age. Captain Roman will investigate the Durandal's records before someone modifies them. Please assist her. Understood. I'll give her the Durandal's master key. Sir. There's an EPR com from the CEO of Vector. Vector? All right, I'll take it. If you'll excuse me, I'll let you know if there are any developments. Busy as always. Not half as much as you. It's good to see you again, Representative Helmer. Likewise, Mr. Wilhelm. We haven't spoken since you resigned as Executive Committee Director. I'm well aware of the situation. Allow me to make a recommendation to the Parliament as well. Mr. Wilhelm, you're too kind. Actually, my concerns have even prompted me to dispatch the Dameron, which is currently underway to the Milshan system. Your concerns? This incident. Surely you've realized by now that... There's no question of the UTIC organization's involvement in it. Exactly. Given that, it can only mean they're after one thing. The original Zohar in stasis on Milsha and... Udu. What? <laughs> I believe our firm's Cosmos and its related staff are currently in your care. I apologize, Mr. Wilhelm. I'm afraid the link between the Kukai Foundation and the Second Milchian government is... Ah, of course. Then please pass a message on to Guinan for me. Surely that would be acceptable? That much I can do. Tell him that we'll lend him Cosmos for a while and he can use her as he sees fit. We still have time before the Zohar project commences. And in the worst case scenario, she'll definitely be of use. We'll have the second R&D division and the tactical sim lab provide support. Are you sure? Isn't that top secret? It's a calculated risk. From our point of view, the more real world data we get, the better. All right. I'll convey your message to Master Guinan. Thank you. Good day then. Oh, there's a lot going on. Ooh, 
Udu. Udu. <laughs> uh. The preliminary inquiry shall now begin. I am an agent working for Representative Helmer of the Second Milshin Parliament. He's also with us. We can go into detail later, but for now I'll just debrief you on the current situation. Please. You are presently under the custody of the Federation government and the military. I'll be honest with you. The way things are now, within a few hours, she'll be turned over to anti-Milshin forces. Specifically, the Utic organization. Soon after, the second Milshin government will be stripped of all its authority. At this moment, Representative Helmer is working with the leaders of the Milshin parliament to buy us additional time. However, our opponent's skillful manipulation requires us to find concrete proof of your innocence. But how? That's the question. We need something that would give conclusive evidence of your innocence. Does Cosmos have like cameras? <laughs> is she she be she been recording stuff? That that would work, right? Do robots have dash cams? What about the Woglinde's black box? We've already recovered that. Unfortunately, sometime after the final gate out, it was modified to be exactly the same as the video recording down to the time access. Not to mention, I shot up the database on that UTIC battleship. What about the Durandals database? A record of the battle against the UTIC should still be there. Can't we use that to prove our innocence? Is that a standard database? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Is that a problem? Yes. Standard databases are too easily modified. I'm not certain how reliable they would be as evidence. If we had something that even the owner couldn't change, say, a system with a AAA class encryption, then maybe... What? AAA? You don't find systems with that kind of protection just lying around? For something like that, you need the Federation government's mother frame or the UMN operating system. We... What? We have one. Oh, Cosmos. <laughs> Was I right? <laughs> Cosmos? Yes. Cosmos database has a recording of the battle against the Gnosis. I was right. Database. Hell yeah. <laughs> Enter that as evidence. Yeah, but in order to copy the record, we need the keys from both the Federation government and headquarters. By diving into the Encephalon and experiencing the record ourselves, we can make a copy through the connection gear. Uh, but that's impossible without the dive equipment. How about the service module simple dive unit? You've got to be kidding. Besides, that's a violation of protocol. We don't have any other choice, do we? Oh, I am so sick and tired of protocol. But... The real question is, how do we get to Cosmos? That'll open any locked doors you come across. I'll just say that we were careless. But to make it look legitimate, you'll need to knock me out. You sure? Otherwise, no one would believe it, right? You have a point. Go easy on me, okay? Forgive me. She is pretty cool. I like her. <laughs> okay, straight to fight with just chaos. Okay. Why is no one else in this fight? <laughs> Leave this to me. Okay, sure. You know what you're doing, I suppose. Would be easier if the other guys got involved, but you know. Sure, why not? Come on, everyone, we still have a long ways to go. Hmm. 
Do I have access to the save point up here? I think it was up here. Oh. Obtained equip item. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. Presumably that just based on um, RPG tropes, I'm guessing that was our equipment. Because presumably they took it when we... Oh, well, that's probably why we couldn't fight. Because they took our equipment. I understand. You know anything new? Nah. So I wonder, could you just leave this area without picking your equipment back up? I don't know. And we're not going to find out. Oh, fine. <laughs> is doing something, so let's get rid of him first. That's not going to do it. <laughs> uh. Ooh, that's some good damage. Here's where the save point was. Oh, and here's everyone. <laughs> You'll have to gamble too. Now's not the time. Don't forget to take things easy, even during an emergency. <laughs> I just saw some soldiers take some people outside. My scan results show the majority of the people on the ship have been captured by soldiers. You should buy a rabbit necklace too. <laughs> Is someone selling that around here or something? Doesn't look like there's a shop in here. Damn it, a soldier took my spot. That was my lucky spot. A newbie should play like a newbie and just stay in a corner. Okay. <laughs> That's why I should have thrown in more back then. I was scared and left my seat. So the guy who sat there later made off with everything that I put down. Oh. 